at the Oga is one of the more than two dozen local chocolate makers in Cote d'Ivoire and has been processing the produce since 2021. Her new facility has a capacity of one ton and is expected to be fully operational within two weeks. Olga says she hopes to play a key role in ensuring the country becomes a major player in the global chocolate industry. In line with our country's new vision, our objective is to increase our processing capacity. To achieve this, we'll be purchasing new high-performance machinery. Our objective is to establish a large-scale production facility capable of processing 30 tons per day, up from our current capacity of one ton per month. This would establish us as the leading processor in the region. With more than 2 million tons produced every year, Ivorian cocoa beans are estimated to account for 45% of the world's population and generating 40% of the country's export earnings. Once our production capacity has been increased and we have absorbed the output of our region, we will then have to identify suitable markets. To achieve this, we are targeting the Chinese market, which represents a significant opportunity. Ivorian chocolate makers now want to offer the world a variety of quality chocolate with original flavors, traceability and above all, a more inclusive value chain. We offer chocolate bars. We have six flavors, including 80% dark chocolate, milk and sesame chocolate, milk and cashew chocolate, ginger chocolate, sumbala chocolate, and plain milk chocolate. Apart from the bars, we have pure cocoa powder without sugar and cocoa butter without added value. Our annual production currently stands at three tons, and our ambition is to produce more. Cote d'Ivoire boasts 12 companies with 14 plants for primary processing. The government says it will be implementing a series of initiatives to enhance production and promote the consumption of locally produced cocoa products. Local cocoa processing will create added value. It will create jobs for young people. There are therefore many economic issues related to this great initiative. Additionally, the local processing will facilitate Cote d'Ivoire's ability to develop economic strategies. But this cannot be possible without local consumption, because consumption underpins the industrial object. In order to encourage local chocolate makers to process more chocolate and increase the value added, the Ivorian government has introduced a processing exemption strategy. In terms of processing, we are encouraging local chocolate makers to diversify their markets and explore non-traditional and undemanding markets, such as the domestic, sub-regional, Asian and the market in the Maghreb and Arab countries. Cote d'Ivoire has seen a 10% increase in local cocoa processing between 2021 and 2023. The share of beans processed in the country rose to around 32% in 2023. The sector now accounts for 15% of the country's economy. Ian Kinyo, CGTN.